guys, what's going on? My name is Dramek, and welcome to a different game for once. Uh, this is Dragon Ball The Breakers. Now, if you've seen the channel, you know every now and then I like to have a Dead by Daylight video. I enjoy the game. Um, however, um, I did try out this game in open beta, because it's the same sort of game. It's an asymmetrical horror game, uh, but it is with Dragon Ball characters. And instead of being a 1v4, it is 1v7. Uh, with the killer and or as raider, as they're called in this game, being significantly more powerful. And yeah, I picked this game up for cheap last night. I've been enjoying it, and I figured, you know what? I'll give it a go on camera, because I think I understand the basic mechanics. I can't fight for shit to save my life. But um, yeah, we're queuing in to be a raider, but uh, we need to play some regular survivor rounds first, and um, to increase our priority in the raider queue. So, I was expecting to get the blue text in the bottom there, which means I am a survivor. Now, if you're wondering what the objective is, it is a little bit different. I mean, I don't think any asymmetrical game has the same sort of objective system, but still. Um, if you move DBD, it's kinda similar, kinda different. But there are different modes on the map we're gonna be getting into. Uh, Waterfront War Zone, I think I've played this one. But there is zones labeled A through E and a middle one called X. And in each of those, there is an F ton of chests uh, with a bunch of items in. And you can find a thing called a power key in it. And once you get that, you gotta take it to an area, and then that's kind of where like you're doing your gems would come in in DBD. You gotta go there, hold it down, plug it in, and then do it in all the different areas. Um, they can get destroyed as the map goes on, but basically, your final objective, uh, which is a big ass time machine, uh, will show up once every remaining area has its power key um, in. Now we are going against Freezer, which I have not, I've played against him once and I lost, so um. But as well. But basically, I mean, he is level 1, so there might be a chance here. But basically, you want to find power keys, stick them in, and avoid the raider at all costs. We can go down once and get revived, um, if we're picked up in a certain amount of time, but after that, we are dead. Um, so yeah, uh, once we summon the time machine, we need to power it up, we power it up, we win. But there is other ways you can get out, and I will explain those if it comes to that, which it may very well do. Um, anyway, here's me. I know you create your own character. I'm aware my guy looks a little bit clapped. And, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, go, let's get down to business. So, um, hello, Trunks. I have no idea who you are. Um, well, I mean, I do. I, I know Silver from Sonic was based on him, but, uh, yeah. Oh, there are gadgets you can equip and use as well. Um, so, we've got our first item, which is Zen Senzu Beans. Uh, those are pretty helpful. I have no idea what they do in the show, because I've seen about 12 episodes of Dragon Ball Z Kai, um, which was about a year and a half ago. But... Um, oh, okay, it's already been looted. But basically, these allow you to get up off the ground immediately in this game, which is pretty helpful. Um, so yeah, as you can see right now, we are in E location. You can also check the map and see that. And oh, this was the map I was playing on to warm up on, so I'm kind of familiar with the other way out a bit more now. But um, these chests, I believe, are the ones that have the power keys in, uh, but they also give you this charge power. Because the thing I've been omitting, um, A, there was a 15 minute timer, so you can't just hide like a wuss, and B, um, you know, if you think, oh, I'm caught and that's it, game over, because there's no, like, looping, again, to compare it to Dead by Daylight, there's none of that. No, um, if you get caught, um, you can turn into, I think it's, they explain it as, like, the spirit of a Dragon Ball, like, character, so, I think I have Vegeta equipped, and, like, Cell, and some other pe people I don't know. Uh, I'm playing this mainly because I think the game looks fun, not because I'm a raging Dragon Ball fan, if that wasn't obvious. And I kind of find that funny. And um, there are the Dragon Balls, I haven't actually used those yet. I would just give them to someone else and hope they do something with them. But yeah, you can actually fight the Raider. You are generally gonna lose, which is, um, I kind of like, again, you feel a lot more defenseless in this game compared to, um, DBD. Which, I mean, makes sense. Like, yeah, I've got my mobility and stuff, but it's, it's motherfucking Freezer. Like, I've not seen up to the point where he shows up in Dragon Ball. No, scratch, they shows up at the very beginning, I think. He destroys the planet, maybe? Spoilers? Question mark? But, like, you know, you you, you generally, if you queue in as Raider, you are going to rock some people's shit. Like, I don't, I don't think a full lobby has ever escaped in this game, because the, the Raider is pretty powerful. There's a very few of them. Um, it's also in Season 5, which is... Okay, um, he's here. I'm going to turn into a rocket and fly away. Um, see, I don't want to get in combat. Because those little charge things I've been finding, they are actually um, helping me uh, when I do need to go uh, Super Saiyan and what have you. Um, they will increase the power of my level. So you can see in the top right now, his, his mark is kind of hiding it. But Frieza is in his first form and has a ranking of 1. I also have a ranking of 1, meaning we are somewhat evenly matched, but he will still beat me out. If he goes to 2 and I'm still rank 1 when we fight, he is going to rock my shit. Um, and so on and so forth. So... 
There's a lot of different moving parts. We can hear a survivor in there. Rescuing them will give you um, boost and not freezer, which is quite helpful because I believe he gets the boost if he destroys the zone. So if you haven't rescued your survivors and destroys the zone with like seven of them in, it's not, it's not the best. And that is about my knowledge of the game. Encompassed. Find power keys, stick them in, and at the end, protect the time machine, power it up, etc., so on and so forth. Now, I'm gonna call in my uh, my little escape pod, and we're gonna head into. Oh, we're going to see. We'll go. We are absolutely going to see. Um, so I get in there, and then yes, yeah, so this is an ability. So um, there's only one person. Okay, there's two people searching that. I'm gonna head down in. Uh, actually, into there. I think I think that's the chest showing up as unsearched. And thankfully, I didn't go B because again, it's uh. It would have been hilarious if it did that, but um, no, I just got a dragon radar and a barrier recovery device. So that's basically like a med kit. It kind of gives you an extra uh, state, which you can take being punched with. But yes, yeah, so let's uh, let us continue. Okay, I'm hearing people again. I would like to get to tier two if possible. It just it works out a bit better for my long term ob objectives, you know. Anyway, so we could go stick in the thing. Oh my! Well, okay, why am I getting the dragon balls? What I'm gonna do is summon the dragon ball man. <laughs> the, the the lack of Dragon Ball knowledge in my system is unironically like astounding. Like I think he's called Shenron, but um, don't murk me. I think that's because that's what the glider was called in Fortnite. I know. Please, please actually put me down. Uh, but thankfully, this freezer doesn't seem to be. St oh, do I have a rocket? Oh, I don't. You know, oh, okay. Super rocket launcher. Yeah, I'll pick you up. I kind of fuck with the whole idea of rocket launchers. I think they're cool. You know, helpful device kill things. Uh, oh, okay, we made the right choice going up. Not every time we get a chest that spawns up here, but uh, today we did. Go us. And Oh, there you go, we got two. Okay, can I... Wait, no, okay, so that one was looted, but this one hasn't been. Uh, you're not going to mention that. Like, and is that a Dragon Ball? Um, I don't know what's actually marked there. Again, I'm still quite new to the game, if that isn't obvious. Um, so please... Oh, okay, well... Yeah, so, so occasionally it might be a little bit dense, but it, it is how it is. And oh, no, it's the the power cubes. Well, I'll take them. I don't think it inc like will incrementally increase. Say we won't be a slightly stronger tier two with more of these collect. I think we only get the boost when we go up a whole last tier. And oh, okay, we found the thing. Oh, hi, 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 hi. Yes, yes. Oh, here, have the dragon balls. Dragon balls. Oh shit! At the altar. I told you it was Sharon. Sharon, Shenron, yeah, okay. Sharon's the name of my Tomodachi wife island. Right, you go, you go, you go summon that. Oh, ha, ba, na, na, okay, I'm gonna turn against my rocket. Bye bye, bye bye. Um, okay, should I? Who has the Dragon Balls? Uh, who did I give them to? I don't know. Um, either way, still my, still my transformation if I need it. I kind of, oh, don't know, I kind of want to put the key in. Like, I think, I think summoning Shenron is like quite a good long term goal, you know, it's in line with my uh, investment objectives and whatnot. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm slightly panicked, so my, my words are fumbling, but hey, uh, I, we did pick up a Dragon Ball radar, and I just didn't end up using it. But, oh, what do I want to do? I'm going to, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use my launch pad, and then... Is this something I want to do? Do I want to go band for band with Freezer? I do not! Um, wait, hang on, have we put the Dragon Balls in? Who... I, who did I give them to? Uh, or did they drop them? I don't know. Who, who? Okay, it's none of these people here. Are they like, I don't know. Oh, it was Nicola. That makes sense. I was going to say, I recognized the name because it was like a, it was a normal name. But that, right, that's a beam. That's a beam. Okay, but um, let's go to the final objective because, sorry, I'm just, I'm wholly distracted by the fact that there is, um, oh, yep, Shenron has been summoned. That's the first time that's happened while I've played this game. Okay. So they picked the wish I want to get stronger, which I believe is going to make them stronger. Because um, killing Freezer was never an option, was it? Nah, we're too pacifist for that. But this is your final objective. This is pretty much like a gen in DBD. You see it here, you have access to the startup system, and once it goes all the way up, success happens. Um, it will go up passively um, if you get chased off, which is quite helpful. Um, although, I kind of want to call in my escape pod um, if I ever need to make a quick escape from here. But, mm. See, I could get involved theoretically, because... As you see, I'm level two and he's level two, which I'm, I appreciate because I, um, I don't think there's matchmaking, so I've been getting matched with a fair few um, professionals. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of chilling with the whole idea of, you know, this is someone my skill level. They've not like got seven thousand hours in a Xenoverse two, for instance. Can, she, can I just like, I have, I have, a, I have a rocket launcher. Can I like kill you? Oh, so, oh no, I walked off the edge. That's um, marginally embarrassing. 
But, um, as you can see, speed bonus 20%. If I can just climb up here and actually contribute to my team, that'd be great. Okay, um, uh, uh, uh. Can I, again, I wish I could, like... Oh, okay, those are sensu beans. Um, haven't been down yet, though, which is, uh, shocking for me. But yeah, once this finishes, uh, we can leave. Which means our first game goes off without a hitch. Um, shocking way. Again, speed bonus 80%, we got this in the bag. As you can see, he did just destroy the zone behind us. And he can't destroy the zone we're in, though, obviously, because that's where the final objective is. But yeah, well, we're speeding up. Again, he hasn't chased us off. He hasn't really made an effort to stop us doing the startup system because he's been busy fighting. Which I'm chilling with. And yeah, I think, are those... I don't know what they are. Oh, those are, um... Those give you extra power, I believe. Um, so you can, like... In the end game, for example, you can rapidly rank up and make sure your shit's unlocked. Hey, it looks like I'm Piccolo. See, I know who Piccolo is. I got to that point. Uh, oh, shit! Okay. Okay. Oh, I got many Steam achievements. Nuh-uh. -uh. Nuh-uh. I'm going to kill you. Um, I, I... Did I... Was that me who took out a lot of yourself? I don't know. But, um... We got, we got to fight in the end. But that was fun. I enjoyed that. Maybe it knows I'm, like, recording and it's like, okay, we'll give you... We'll give you all because you're gonna do, like, decent M. But we have restored the timeline. Everything is back as it was, undestroyed. And Freezer is, is vanishing into the wind. To a fine mist, as it were. Well, look at us go. And I am Piccolo instead of my actual character, I think. Which I find quite funny. Um, okay. But go us. And um, so we leveled up. We get in some stuff. And, uh, yeah. 5,000 of that. That's... That's not bad. Three tokens. Yes, so, I'm going to skip through this, because I want to try and queue in again, see if we can get a raid around. Uh, that was, that was, I feel like that was good survivor round, so we'll keep recording, and I'll record the extra survivor game in case it's more interesting, but... Would like, you know, one game of each, ideally. But yeah, I, I, I find it super fun. Again, 15 minute match limit, we ain't getting any, like, hour-long school merchant matches in here, which I appreciate. But we'll queue in. And I do want to explain a little bit more about the game while we're in queue. Usually it says about a minute, can go a little higher. Long so it's about four or five minutes. It's chill. Just put an episode of House on on your the screen, you'll be fine. It supports Bordel Swim mode, mode, so you can. Um, coming from Genshin Impact, that is a shocking improvement. But, um, yeah, so I'll probably explain a little bit more about how systems work. Um, you can link with Xenoverse 2, which I know is another Dragon Ball game. Uh, but yeah, you can customize your appearance. That does cost in-game money and or premium currency. Uh, we, we earned it then. It was the uh, TP tokens. Um, so those are premium currency, but we can get it. We're connecting. There you can customize your appearance. I don't think anything's locked behind customization there. Here is a thing where you can level up skills. Um, I don't fully understand it. I've been looking at guides to try better understand it. I think it could have been a bit more clear. And here is the gacha system. Um, I, I think it's pretty generous, all things considered. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. They give you like, tickets and stuff, and there's a um, there's a free battle pass uh, that for each season, which can give you some stuff towards it. Of course, you can pay if you want, but it seems decent enough from what I've played. The, odd, the odds seem, like, pretty bad, but you can just save up premium currency to buy uh, like, the limited five-star characters and whatnot outright, which is pretty cool, because um, it means you can play as um, whoever Goku Black is, and um, that man in the top right. If an actual Dragon Ball fan is watching this, I sincerely apologize. Well, I assume most people watching this may maybe have some awareness of Dragon Ball. I apologize if I've given anyone an aneurysm throughout the recording of this series. Ten likes and I will continue watching Z Kai from where I left off. It was when Vegeta showed up. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I didn't have the time. Um, but the other thing this game has, um, I skipped it for the sake of the recording, but it does have a prologue um, dubbed in both Japanese and English. And yeah, it's basically just in-game characters. So you got this guy with the puff jacket and this lady over here. They're like characters and whatnot. So you do the prologue as kind of a tutorial. And then I think there's two more episodes which introduce fighters that came out after launch, which is pretty cool. I like that. It's like a little bit of a story mode going on. I, I vibe with that for one. And yes, um, so it's still saying we're matchmaking as Raider, which I appreciate because we have we at least have a lobby around us. And, ooh, but are we in? That's the question. Has it de has it has it assigned me Raider? Because I think I think the text that shows up in the bottom right in a few seconds, depending on the core, that shows you what role you've got a little in advance. Um, I will be playing Cell. I know that is like the basic killer, but it's the only one I've played, and I don't I don't want to learn while on the job, so to say. Uh, but I will say though, I've been enjoying it. Um, the team reviews were quite mixed, uh, which was like uh, you know I I, so I I did get it while it was on sale. Um, but um, I've enjoyed it. I haven't encountered many crashes or I mean, I've had like a, the occasional disconnect I kind of have like I'd say an equal amount in DBD and aha it? It, it sensed my OBS was open and was like Well, we can't not give him content. 
<laughs> so here we go. We're playing a cell. So, it gets to the other side of the game. I'd argue this is definitely the main draw. Um, I assume the more you're into Dragon Ball, the more this will absolutely fuck. Um, so we are playing a Cell, and his whole thing is he gets progressively stronger. So he starts off as this thing, and then he goes into this thing. It's lagging a little bit, because obviously my recording software is um, using some processes. But he goes through the stages, and he gets more powerful, and does more damage, and more abilities, and stuff. And we can destroy place more places each time he ranks up, and it's very fun, very delicious. And yeah. Um, oh, Ward. Um, I can't tell if this is, like, balancing, or if just, like two people didn't connect. We'll see. We'll improvise. Um, I do know the game has AI. Um, not sure if it's used in actual matches or not, but I know as um, part of like, the introductory section, it makes you play quote-unquote public matches, but they do not have Steam Unison names at all. Okay, so get rid of all people. Well, I will, I will. Fine. So, let's do it then. So we are currently in B, so I'm gonna head over to E. I know. Rhymes. But uh, yeah, we're in this little um, slow form. Kind of can, can only crawl. I mean, we'll learn how to fly in a little bit. But, um, ooh! Hang on, I hear a survivor. So this is what I was talking about. If I can... No, really? Not in there? <gasps> oh, there you are. You're up here. You're up here. Aha, aha. Where are you? Where are you? I need to, I, I need to harvest your organs. Again, so the directional audio um, to me is kind of annoying because I'm like on my way to being very, very deaf. Uh, but here you are, and I am going to finish you off. So this isn't one of our team members, but we kill him, and it gives us stuff towards our next phase. And oh, hi, friend. So um, we took through his barrier, and I think have we hit him again? Oh, we have. Okay. So if I finish you off, I believe this gives me what I need to uh, level up. Uh, it does. Okay. So now we're in business. See, so we've got abilities and stuff. Now, I'm gonna save my... Okay, really? Who is? Who else is, like, in a house crying? No, you're not. No, you're not. Anyway, let's, um... Yeah, let's head on up. And where do we want to head? Should we try... Oh, I said I'd try E, so let's look in E. Uh, see what's going on. Now, we can sense around for people here. Not that I see anything, unfortunately. Um, I know one of them I teleport around quite a lot very frequently, and the other one I don't really understand, but we'll use it. Um, solar flare. Does that make them blind? Oh, I, mean, I don't think it means they can see me approach, possibly. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. Um, but it would appear as though the... Oh! I knew it! I knew there was someone here! Okay, where are you? Where are you? Okay, there you are. Uh -uh. I don't think I'm dead. I think it's my job to make you dead. Okay, where are you? Where are you going? There you are. Okay. Um, the walk-on can be a little finicky. I find it quite hard to keep track of people at a time, so I imagine that's kind of the point to allow people time to make an escape. But now we're going to finish her off. We're going to have a delicious, sumptuous little snack. And it means she can't crawl around anymore. And I think it... Oh! I hear you. I can smell you. Are you in here? He's not in here. I hear you. I'm not crazy. Ah ha ha ha! Oh! Also, I'm sorry. We can destroy buildings. It's like, this is... This is... I, I, I mess with this. I don't even know who I'm playing as. <laughs> Um, oh, hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Oh, we had a super rocket launcher. That's a... Uh, well, I assume I have super saved myself. Uh, but I'm going to finish this guy off, and then I'm going to get away from these people, because yeah, there's, no, there's no point in staying near them. Again, like, I think we're down two members, so I'm going to head over into A, I think, and let anyone who is nearby get the res. I, I see that guy there. I'm going to kind of ignore him, because... I don't think it's inherently good manners if we're down two people to go ahead and, you know, be annoying. But, I do see that the key has been slotted in E. And this won't eradicate the people who are downed, but it does eradicate the area I need to search for people in. I believe it teleports them to a safe area after I destroy it. I will hope. Because if it doesn't, I will, I will apologize, national television. Um, you know, like, like the whole the whole nine yards, but yeah, as you can see, um, there were two people downed in there, but two people not dead. So I believe it teleports people who were downed to a safe location, which I respect. Now, ooh, okay, I see one person. I guess we're just going to go get you. I don't know, have I got you before? That's the issue, is I don't know who I've, like, got and who I haven't got. Because I, I, I don't pay the most attention, I'll admit. But hi, friend, and who are you? Are you, oh, did you not have a thing? 
I don't think they did. Huh. They must not have found many, uh, many, many of people. I, I think the best way to go about getting things is doing the, uh... I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Rescuing survivors to get the charge. Or as the game calls it, change. But we are now in, uh, phase three. And, oh! Was there somebody trying to get me? Oh, where you at? There you're at. Okay. Okay. Okay, a survivor has escaped. Yes, so I can finally explain that other idea. Those are the, there are those things there are called uh, escape machines. And um, basically what they do is they allow someone to escape. And we are going to prevent this. We can't destroy them, but if somebody gets to them, um, they can leave, which is a bit cringe. Oh, we're not a fan of that. We, we, don't, we don't hashtag stand that in this household. But let's uh, finish this man off. And yes, he's now downed. Now again, I want to fly up and I want to make sure I'm taking out what is not in my control. Uh, but quickly scan for anyone else. I'm not seeing it. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to I'm going to mess with it. I'm going to destroy the area I was just in to teleport that man's corpse away from where he may be getting rescued because his his other friend is still in. And actually, oh, if you look in the top right, you can see the uh, the pig man has a little X next to his name, which I imagine means he's been downed before. But let's um, let's nuke D. Everybody say goodbye to D. And now I don't know where he is, so um, I should probably have a look. Is that? I see it. that. I feel evil, but that that's him in it. That's that 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 that's him. So how do I how? So what? The, oh, this is okay. So I'm trying I'm trying to familiarize myself with the moves a little bit more. I admit, but he's gone in this little cave. No, he hasn't. He's down underneath here. So can I just? I don't know. Have you got a thing? No, he doesn't. Or did, or did he? I don't know. Did it was like he walked away, and I hmm hmm. I mean, but that's probably an ability I'm not like super familiar with. I mean, I've played like what six hours of the game. I'm not super proficient, but I do know that, that will count as a win. They were two people down. Kind of wish I had a more full wobby, but you don't get to play raid right off raider often, so we do. But you know. We won, though. Um, they did not escape in the super time machine, which counts as win for them. So, um, yeah, um, we won. If they can't activate the super time machine, we win. Um, I think two time as well, we also win. Let's see, we got a skill point for Cell. I can spell that, I believe, to increase one of his abilities. Look at all our challenges and stuff. And Ooh, Seasons 5 Spirit Siphon Ticket. Now, I did mention the gacha system before, but it'd be really, really, really funny if I got, like, a five-star character. It, 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 it would be insurmountably funny, even, if I went and got a five-star character in Dragon Ball. Even more so if they're really good and I don't know who they are. Like, not to say that this entire video is gimmick, but, you know. I, let's, 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 let's gamble, Will. So, communicate with the server. It does that every so often, it's fine. But, we can... Ooh! Ooh! Oh, we can, we can summon a few times. Well, we're going to do it on the standard banner first. Uh, it's a nice yellow ticket. I don't think this is always here, but it's like, I think the more common the banner. But yes, yeah, so they, they, there is an animation. I'll play it once and then it will skip the rest of the times because it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit wrong, wrong. But I think this is just a regular, a regular three star, is it not? We'll have a look because we have just got ourselves. Hey, okay, Captain Ginyu uh, 3 comes with skills, costumes, and whatnot. Very cool. Uh, but that's, that's the regular band. We don't care about that. We care about this fancy one. Um, so we can go twice. I don't want to spend my premium currency because I want to save it. But we can do once with this um, currency here, 15,000, which I see no reason not to. And then we can do it with one of the tickets. Um, comparing it to like, other systems, it's not as forgiving as, say, something like Star Rail. But, you know, I, I chill with that. We vibe with that. It is how it is. And we got Hoist. Um, I, I know Whis from, um, he's the one with Beerus, I think. See, I'm, I'm, like, I'm acutely aware, very vaguely. But um, let's go again there. You know, if, if we get something, we get something. Because I think that'd be a good way to round it off. But if not, you know. the fruit we, 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 We're showing off the fruits of my labor regardless. So, to wrap on out, we have Gohan as a team. And I believe that is everything. So, um, yeah, that is it for now. Um, Let me know if you want to see me play more of this. I will probably play it more off camera if purely to justify the fact I bought it but yeah I'm enjoying it there's a is that Shenron in the background I but yeah, no, it, 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 it's fun I'm enjoying it so it's a different like flavor to asymmetrical horror games it's less horror and more just Dragon Ball but you know not that I mind that though it, 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 it's cool I'm vibing with it but let me know if you ever want to see me 
return to this. Maybe when I'm a bit more seasoned, a bit more knowledgeable, but at the very least, as first impressions, it's pretty good. You know, I played it in the beta and I was like, nah, I'm probably not going to pick this up when it comes out, but you know what I have? A significant time after it came out, but still, I'm chilling with it. I'm vibing with it. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up here for now. And yeah, if you did enjoy, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps out a bunch. And until next time, with all that said, I'm all that side. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Brendan Ryan, and peace out.